She doesn't claim to be Sufi or anything. <laughs> but there is this idea that uh, all Sufis are all one and the same. And that's not I don't understand. So your mom is not Sufi. Why you mention that? She's not Sufi, but in terms of like, you know she, how they... She's a worshipper, you mean? May Allah preserve her? Uh, uh, May Allah have mercy upon her. Yeah. I mean, alhamdulillah. I'm saying, look, this term was used, um, like using the term Zahid. Yeah. Someone who is Zahid from the dunya. You know, uh, assistic, uh, that's the term, assistic in English. Uh, assistic of the term they use for a Zahid. Yeah. Someone that uh, stay away from the, uh, the, the dunya. dunya. Yeah. yeah. But... Uh, but uh, uh, this, uh, like, uh, that's what I'm saying, okay. We, huh? Yeah, aesthetic. Aesthetic, yeah, that's, that's yeah, yeah. Or aesthetic or something, yeah. The Zahid, alhamdulillah. But now our, the term Sophia, when it's used, okay, it's known what it's used for. Mm. I mean, like, uh, that's why I said, name me some Sufi now, you know? Because Sufia, they tell you we are Sufis. They tell you, if you ask my family back home, or other people like in Pakistan or India, or Somal, yeah, I think, I think or Morocco, they say. happens in Pakistan and India. Is comes from ignorance uh, and so you see practices happening there mm. and even you know people uh, you know within Pakistan and India will see that and they will say these people are are, are jahil people yes yeah, no, just, I mean, not, even Algeria Morocco the stuff yeah. they do so, I mean, but then that doesn't reflect what Sufi or the, the Sufis okay. of the oh, tell me what is Sufi that go on define. I don't know I don't know all I know is uh, that's my experience that's brother we want to learn from you so my just it's experience, experience. No, no, yeah. it's experience because you just explained, yeah. Can you so, just explain? So, what, what no, the, tell us which Sufi yeah. is in the right path, which Sufi that we learn from each other. That we know now, Sofia. We learn from But before that, as if as Sofia. You know, Sofia, they differ you know that, where they came from. Yeah. Yeah. Some say they come from the Saf, the Awal, or some from the Al Sofa, yeah. mm -hmm. or Ashab Sof, those who wear the wool yeah. uh, garments, yeah? yeah. So, and they say it goes back to uh, Ibrahim al Adham. They say Ibn Ibrahim al Adham, he was a, a, a son of a king, then once he was walking, and the story is very similar to Buddha, that he was a son of a, king, a rich man, and, uh, and uh, he went out and he saw a, a rich, he was from a rich family, and he saw a poor person. So this, that's why a lot of people say uh, uh, Sufism, the right from Hinduism and Buddhism, very similar. Like, uh, what, what do you got Ibn Arabi? I don't know. I'm studying them enough to make a joke. Ibn Arabi, he said there is no difference between you worshipping a dog and worshipping the... Uh, because in the reality, there is nothing exists in the reality except Allah. Mm. That's a kufri state. Unity. Unity. Originally, from yeah. Pakistan, yeah. you grow up here. Okay, well, there's a lot of Sufis. Yeah, Ibn Arabi, yeah. Yeah, unity of existence. So everywhere we go, that's why we have to our deen just to worship Allah without any think, Allah, yeah. without any closing to their man and saying he's my Mawla Sab. It doesn't work. No. Who are Mawla now? Yeah. No Mawla what he means. Yeah, Mawla. Like Allah, yes. we, yes. the we don't tell the Imam is in the prayer. No, Mawla has many meanings. Yeah. Mawla has many meanings. So like, one meaning you, you, can, you can go to Sheikh Mawla, no problem. Yeah, but I'm just following the other one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, even the other one, Arabic, like Mawla servant could be. Who Mawlana? Yeah, yeah, yeah no I problem. I would say who are Mawlana yeah, yeah. Allah. But no, no, because I've had people saying you cannot call Sheikh Mawlana. No, you know, no, Maulana yeah. has many meanings. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I'm just following yeah. Maulana in the yeah, Quran. No, exactly. The one says Maulana. Yeah, no, no. Maulana. Yeah. Maulana. We tend to him, yeah? So what I'm saying to you, brother, just mention which Sufi is not having got that category he just told you. To go to the grave is, or to go to the uh, Maula, uh, somebody and just ask for bless. Yeah. I, don't, I think what brother was saying the other day. Yeah, but it's someone who's for us. Zahid, it's specific. That's, that's more of the meaning of, I think, of Sufi as well. Someone who would stay away from dunya. Stay away from dunya. Yeah. And I think, I think the word Sufi gets mixed about so much. Yeah, I don't even think Sufis who feel that they're Sufis call themselves Sufi. They do, like Sufi. Yeah. Except this term, if you mean Zaid, even this term Sufi, actually, it's not even a legislative term. Mm. We don't need. We don't even need I don't it. Do you think we need that term, Sufi? That Barakallah. But we know what is Sufi and now yeah. Sufi has books, has sources, you know, like I mentioned, one of them, Tabaqat al Sha'rani, you know. I mean, like, I tell you a story, yeah, back home. So there, there was this so called Sheikh, Sufi Sheikh, yeah. When a woman used to go to him, he used to ask them, remove your golds, remove the gold, the chain, the bracelet, everything. Then he smacked them, you know, I mean, it, 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 it breaks the, the, the chains and everything, yeah. And he said, MashaAllah, look. He doesn't want dunya. Then I asked one of them, I said, what did he do with the goats after when he breaks the chain? Did he give it back to you? He said, no. I said, he took it. Yeah. He took yeah, it for himself. These, these, there's this is shaitan. Like this. This shaitan is also Who abused 
I understand that, but, but so, uh, that's what I'm saying. Name you one Sof in our time, the Sophia sect, which they not they don't follow shirk. Sophia who called who called themselves Sophia. Yeah. 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 I don't know. Not what people say it, because you can be someone dressing nice, having nice car, and you say it. As Ahmed when he was asked, what is the meaning of Zaid? He said Zaid doesn't mean you don't dress nice or nothing. Zaid means that if you dress nice, uh, you do not attach your heart to the uh, the material things. Yeah. Nabi Ayah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam had nice garment. Yeah. When the Khawarij saw Ibn Abbas with a nice garment, they tried to mock him. He said, what are you wearing? He said, indeed, I saw the be someone was better than me, dressing with a garment better than mine. He was referring to Nabi Ayah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Nabi Ayah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam married uh, uh, 11, but there were nine, okay? Uh, that, when he died, there were nine. But the Shahid, he had many wives, Alayhi uh, uh, He used to uh, take care of himself, you know. As for this uh, Sophia that we see in our time of unity of existence, then Alhamdulillah, we suffice with the term Salafi. We follow the way of the Salaf of Salih. There is Ulama from the Salaf, Zahidun. Ayyab? Okay. Barakallah, Afiq, Afwan, Afiq. May Allah bless you, Afiq. Ayyakallah. Jazakallah khair.